just a quick update. I have a formula that's incorrect and I want to make sure it's correct so I don't uh, confuse anybody. Uh, around lines 33 through 37-ish, um, I have a formula here uh, in my mutate function that says death rate equals sum of the cases divided by sum of the deaths. That's not a true formula for finding the percentage. It'd be the number of deaths divided by the number of cases. That's the correct formula. And you know, this, this data frame is not really doing much except for displaying right here. Instead of doing this display like that, and you could see when I rendered it, let's render it, I'll show you what it looks like, and it's not very pretty. R markdown render, script one.rmd. You'll see that it's not aesthetically pleasing to the eye, is basically what I'm showing you. View in web browser. Uh, let me bring this over for you. So even this, it's not the most pleasant looking table. So let's just go ahead and do a quick Google on something called cable, cable R. And we'll just throw a cable function in there. Uh, you know, there's some good examples in here. But let's go to more of a tutorial. There we go. So as you scroll down this particular page, which is the cran.r-project.org, I can leave a link in the uh, YouTube description, but this this here is, is gonna show you some cable, uh, cable tables. So let's just kind of scroll down and see what we can find. There are some that uh, highlight as you, as, you, as, you, as you hover over it. There's all kinds of tables you can do. Now, there's a learning curve to some of these, so don't get too excited. Let's let's just stay towards the top. Pick something simpler, like something like this, right? So let's just copy this code, Command C, and it's just gonna make it a little bit more prettier. And you can add things like buttons, and uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's go back to here. We're gonna have to load our library now. I don't have cable installed, so let's do install packages, packages, install. We're going to do cable, let's do cable extra install. And while that's doing that, let's go back here. I've already copied this code, um, but this is the cable and cable extra. So I think with cable extra, you don't need the actual cable. Let's try it. So now, Let's load library cable extra. That's fine. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to assign this to a, another data frame called enhanced data frame, EDF. And we'll just run that. So now my EDF variable or data frame here, it's basically just a copy, but it's got that extra um, feature, the uh, death rate. So what we can do now is we can actually call cable extra. So if I do command V, uh, instead of DT, it'll, it'll be EDF, EDF, because that's the one we just created. And we're gonna do, just like it says here, let's see if it runs. And it looks like we're good to go. It actually puts it in the viewer as well over here. But you can see this is a lot cleaner looking. And now remember, save it, command S. And let's re-render this. And uh, so we're going to re-render it. Let's take a quick look, go back to files over here. And once this is completed, we'll take a look. But it looks like we're good. Uh, it's a 2.6 megabyte file because we have a lot more data showing, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and open this. Open uh, in uh, web browser. All right, so that's a much prettier table. And, but you can't do much with it, right? Not yet. So what you wanna do is you wanna find out ways to embed uh, filters and search capability. So in the very next tutorial, I will do that for you. <laughs> and if you do enjoy these and you find them helpful, please share it with your friends, let other people see this, and feel free to share it on social media for me. Thanks.